everyone, this is Brad from DevOps Journey and welcome to another DevOps terminology video. In this video, we're going to be covering the term toil, which is a term that we're seeing more and more come up in the IT world. And toil is something we always want to avoid. And basically what toil is, is manual, repetitive or automatable tasks. Basically, it's grunt work that you want to avoid. And if you've ever seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, the best thing to compare it to is Charlie work. So let's get Charlie Day in here to help explain what toil is. Charlie work? What's Charlie work? Fill me in. Hey, well, Charlie work is like, you know, like basement stuff, cleaning urinals, uh, blood stuff, your basic slimes, your sludges, anything dead or decaying, you know, I'm on it, I'm dealing with it. <laughs> All right, so the Charlie work that DevOps engineers have to deal with every day is a little different than what Charlie is dealing with, but it has the same idea behind it. It's repetitive work that needs to be done. It's interrupt driven. It removes you from doing what's important in your job. So you want to avoid and reduce the amount of toil that you face on a day to day basis. And this is really huge in the technology industry. Places like Google and Facebook have an upper limit on the amount of toil that they let their engineers face on a day to day basis. Basically, what they say is they don't want their engineers to face more than 50% toil. They want at least 50% of their time on engineering tasks. But before we get into that, let's have a look at the main indicators of if a task is considered toil. So the first indicator is if the task is manual. So something like restarting a server or even something like running a script is considered toil. Running a script may be faster than running each individual command, but it still requires human intervention to run that script. So we should be engineering solutions where we don't even need to have a human run the script. Now, obviously that's kind of idealistic. There's always gonna be manual tasks that exist, but we need to look at them individually and identify ones that we can automate or get rid of. All right, so the next one here is the task repetitive. If it's something that you're tackling for the first time or the second time, then no, it's not a repetitive task. But if it's something that you're doing every day or a few times a week, then it's a repetitive task that you should look at automating. And that brings us to our next point is the task automatable. So the way that we usually look at a task being automatable is if a machine could accomplish the task just as well as a human. Human capital is expensive, so you don't want to be wasting it on a task that can be automated. Now, if human judgment is essential to the task, then there's a good chance that it isn't toil and it's not something that you should be automating. The last thing to identify if a task is considered toil is if it's a reactive task rather than a proactive task. So an example of a reactive task might be a server going down, a service going offline, and you get paged in the middle of the night to log in and fix it. This is a completely reactive task that you and your team want to avoid. You want to be doing proactive work to prevent these outages instead of having to fix them in the middle of the night. So I hope those four examples help you understand what toil is and will help you identify what toil you have in your current role. If you want to learn more about toil, you should check out the free book that Google gives for site reliable engineers. They have an entire chapter on toil. I put the link in the description below for everyone here. So please go ahead and check that out if you're interested. And if you're interested in DevOps or starting a career in IT, then please go ahead and subscribe and check out my other videos. Later everyone and good luck out there.